champion Rams host the Super Bowl favorite Buffalo Bills. Buffalo entering the season as the favorite to win it, as I just mentioned. The Pro Football Championship at 6-1 to one odds. Meanwhile, the defending champs and Buffalo's opponent on Thursday night enter with 11-1 to one odds to win it all. Bart, who's got a better chance of making the Super Bowl? It's, it's the Buffalo Bills. It's not even close. I mean, they went out and got Von Miller, the closer, Jameson Crowder in the slot. I think this team is really built up to this moment. They've done a great job in developing the talent around them. And I have concerns about the Rams as far as losing Whitworth. People don't really talk about what a great loss that was. That was an anchor, a staple, a mainstay at left tackle that played at a high level his entire career. You know, we don't talk enough about what he did at 40 years old. And then losing Von Miller. You know, so now you can dictate, you know, the line sliding. You can try to take away Floyd and take away Aaron Donald. They needed last year to go get Odell Beckham. They needed to go out and get Von Miller right. to be a closer. He's the Super Bowl whisperer, and now he's on the other side with Buffalo, and I think he could be the difference. Now this team is complete. They'll eventually get your Davis White back, and he can get healthy. He's a top corner. We didn't talk about them not playing with their best player on defense last year. Now they're back. They had another tremendous draft. Guys are, and I feel like they're hungry. Right. We, it, it, it usually feels to win a Super Bowl, you have to suffer. Right. Jeff suffered a bit when they lost to New England and finally they were able to get over the hump. I feel like Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills have suffered enough and yeah. it's time and they understand what it's about. You know, you talk about the Rams. They're a little, they're a little full. They're, they, they've been getting patted mm -hmm. on the back a lot. I don't know if they're going to have that same level of intensity. Well, first of all, I don't know if the Rams have been getting patted on the back. I mean, they're Super Bowl. You see the champions. ring? I'm just saying, they're <laughs> Super Bowl champions. That's what happens. I mean, you win the chip, yeah. and not a game has been played yet. Now, if you were saying they were getting patted on the back in week five or six or eight or whatever, I feel you. But damn, the season ain't start yet. Celebrate, <laughs> celebrate it as much as you possibly can. Okay, until the season begins. That's the way it goes. Number one. Number two. Listen, I believe in the Bills. I believe the Bills are coming out of the AFC and that they'll, they'll, they'll get to the Super Bowl. That's my, my belief because I think that Josh Allen is that dude, and I think the immense amount of pressure that's on their shoulders right yeah. now um, is it, it's there because when you think about the Bills, and I said this yesterday, when you think about the Buffalo Bills, you think about four straight Super Bowl losses. Mm. And, 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 <laughs> you know, damn near 30 years ago. Okay, and 30 years ago. But the fact of the matter is it hasn't been forgotten. Whether it's the Giants, whether it's getting blown out by the Broncos, the Dallas Cowboys, not once but twice. The bottom line is, is that Jim Kelly, God bless that man, and, and Thurman Thomas and the crew mm -hmm. lost four straight Super Bowls. <laughs> so when you think about the Buffalo Bills, that's what you're thinking about. Pain okay? Sucks. My saying is this. My thinking is this, though. You know, the Buffalo Bills lost the opener last year to the Pittsburgh Steelers mm -hmm. in Buffalo, 23-16. Mm -hmm. I can see them losing. This open a Thursday night. I could see the Rams hyped as hell and ready to go. I got some issues with them losing Von Miller. I think that's a loss. Yeah. I think how do you replace that? That remains to be seen. Robert Woods ain't back. Odell Beckham Jr. ain't back. Allen Robinson is there from Chicago. He's got something to yeah, prove. I like that pickup because he yeah. could ball. Damn it, he was balling with 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 you know with Ryan Pace as his GM. And you know who the hell his coach was. And you know who the hell his quarterback was. Okay. Yeah. So you got all of that going on. So with Matthew Stafford throwing a football. Cooper Cup on the other side of the field drawing some attention. I expect Allen Robinson to have a big year, me personally. Higby and the rest of your targets, Cam Akers and those boys, these are familiar targets mm -hmm. for Matthew Stafford. Familiar weapons to be utilized by Sean McVay. I like their chances in this particular mm -hmm. game. I think it's going to be a thriller, make no mistake about it. But it wouldn't surprise me at all if Buffalo loses this game. I'm just of the mindset it don't really matter because over the grand scheme of things, yeah. I think the Buffalo Bills okay, will prove but, to be the team. But I need you to team. answer the question. What? Who's most likely to reach the Super But that was a beautiful soliloquy. About <laughs> Thank you so much. I said, could you answer the actual question? Who's likely to win the Super Bowl? Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I said the Buffalo Bills three times. Uh -oh. Oh, I said I the Buffalo hear. Bills three times. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.